Yeah, one, this two, is going three. on Ritu. Okay, hi, I'm Neil. I'm gonna show you how to check the defibrillator for the crash carts, or do the crash cart check. So here's our new Dissolve defibrillator. The first thing that we wanna do is, I should have my paper out. You have a PowerPoint that shows you how to check this. So the objectives of this is to do a visual inspection first. Then we're gonna do the code readiness, which is number two. Then we're gonna skip down and do the recorder check, which is the tape. And then we're gonna do a manual defibrillator test and a pacer test. I'm gonna remove this number six, which is the code readiness log. We don't need that, okay? So that's the thing. So first is the visual check. I'm going to check that all the knobs are intact, nothing is broken. Make sure the buttons all look good, nothing's broken. I'm gonna look at the screen, nothing's broken here. I'm looking at the top of the monitor. Battery looks good. I'm gonna make sure that everything is plugged in. And one thing is not plugged in, and that's the power cable. Mm -hmm. So, where's your power around here? Right there. Make sure that you plug in your cable into a red power outlet, like the crash cart over there. Okay. Okay. That one's got something stuck in there. Okay, all good? Yes. When you plug it in, you'll have a green light right here that mm -hmm. says that it's plugged in. Okay. And then this yellow light indicates that the battery is getting charged now. Mm -hmm. Okay, it'll turn green uh, as soon as it's charged up, but then it'll turn yellow as soon as you turn this thing on. So yellow is okay. Questions about this. This is the visual check. Okay. okay. The second check is the code readiness thing. And you have to look in this little window right here. Can you see inside there? Mm -hmm. You will either see a green check mark or a red X. Red X means it's been greater than 24 hours since it was checked last. Okay? That's the easy check. This one does a self check and we have it scheduled for 1 a.m. So it'll do its own thing. Okay? The next thing we're gonna do now is check the printer. So this tape is proof that you're doing the work, that you're actually doing the check on here. So I'm going to rip this off. And actually, I already ripped it earlier. So I'm gonna open this up and look and see that there's paper inside here. If you run out of paper, I'm gonna take this out. If you run out of paper, you're gonna open up a package and you're gonna see that one side is folded. If you get it so that you don't see any folds, just flip it over, the fold will be on the one side. Drop it in the, the paper holder, mm -hmm. grab that ear and pull it out straight. Mm -hmm. When you close the door, it should be easy to close. If it's a little bit difficult and it feels like you're crunching on cockroaches, it's because your paper's not straight. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that out. You can see it's all messed up. Mm -hmm. Line it up straight and drop the door on it. Now that the door is checked, we're gonna set this up and we're going to prove, put it, document that uh, our recorder is working. So put it in monitor mode. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, once this turns on, I'm gonna push the size button and once I see the square waves show up on this green line, I'll hit record. So here's the size. And now we'll see the square wave. I'm gonna hit record and I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna look at this paper and as soon as I see the square wave, I'm going to stop the recorder. So that's how we do it. This is the proof that you did the recorder test. I'm also looking at the date and the time, make sure all the writing is legible and that it's printing on the pink side of the paper. If it prints on the back side, then you did it wrong. If it's all smudged, that means it was put in sideways. Just make sure everything looks pretty, and in this case, it does. So we're gonna move on to the next test, which is the okay. defibrillator. Okay. So now we're gonna turn the dial to def defibrillator mode. Automatically, it'll set itself for 120 joules for adult patients. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is knock it down to 30, because that's the test joulage. So now that it's set at 30, I'm gonna press charge. Earlier, I made sure that this thing was plugged in. Mm -hmm. Okay, made sure that everything was plugged in. And when I hit shock, you'll look at this screen and it'll say 30 joule test is okay. In three, two, one. 30 joule test, okay. It happened so quick. Okay, I'm gonna look at this paper coming out and I'm gonna look for the defibrillation mark, which is right here, and I'm gonna stop the recorder. Okay, so there's proof that we checked the defibrillation mode. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna test the pacer. So I'm gonna turn it to pacer. This is the last test. Notice that the red, when we turned it to the defibrillator mode, anything that's red controls any red buttons. Mm -hmm. For monitor, it's gray, so anything that's gray handles the gray buttons. Mm -hmm. And then if it's in green, these buttons mm -hmm. here in green for pacer, okay? Mm -hmm. So to, to do this test, we're gonna crank it up to 150 pulses per minute. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna overshoot 
so that I can turn it back down. So it's at 154 and we want 150, so we'll take it down to 150. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, we need zero milliamps uh, for power. It's already set at zero, so I'm gonna crank it up first and then I wanna take it down to zero. So these two tests verify that the two knobs are working. Okay, okay are you catching that on there? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this four to one button and it'll take one quarter of the rate and show you the spikes in the space matter. This is the real test for the pacer. Mm -hmm. So when I push this, we'll look at the rate and we'll see that it gets cut into four. Once it shows a slowed rate, I'll press the record button and that will print, print it out on the tape and that will be the record that we did this test. So I'm gonna press the four to one. Now the rate's slow. I'll hit record and I'll let go of the four to one picture. Okay, so now the tape is going. Here's the rate of 150. Mm -hmm. It's now a rate of 37, which is one quarter of the rate. Mm -hmm. And now it's back to 150. I'll press record. And that is the end of the defibrillator check. Okay. Thank All right. You. Any questions? No, we're